Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Sagittarius from the 23rd to the 29th of September 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to my website, jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box and I've put in links to Amazon and eBay. So please follow these links to view or to buy the decks. And don't forget to watch my videos on simple energy healing remedies, my deck walkthrough series, as well as my new uh, video series on gemstones and crystals. You'll find those very, very interesting and very, very helpful. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. I'm starting off with the general energy read and I'm going to be using the tea leaf oracle for that. And the first card is bird perched, which says waiting for news packages or letters. So it seems like you're, uh, you know, waiting for something to come in there. You've got the dagger. So fears, worries, a tense situation. So maybe this, uh, whatever this news is that you could be waiting for is causing a lot of stress for you. You're very, very worried that things are going to turn out uh, wrong or not turn out uh, in your favor. You've got the dog card over here. So this is about getting together with friends. Uh, so enjoying the company of friends. So there are people around you that are very, very faithful and very, very supportive. And it seems like, uh, you know, you're relying on those people for support as well now you've got a fair woman in the um in the past so you're dealing with a relation or relationship with a woman with fair gray or blonde hair so there's somebody or an older person or maybe a blonde person that has been very significant you've got the grasshopper card over here which is saying situations in balance that require careful handling so you've been dealing with some kind of issue regarding uh, this person and you've had to tread very very carefully uh, with that situation now going into the future you've got uh, the staff card over here so you will be taken care of in a difficult uh, time so whatever is going on you needn't worry whatever comes out of it it looks like there is going to be support going this is like a walking stick there's somebody that's going to give you that help that you need you've got the club over there which says somebody will try to make you do something against your will so stand up for yourself don't allow people to manipulate you or control you you need to be uh, a force to be reckoned with so um, you know don't back down and don't allow people to um, to get the better of you and there will be support if you're going through a difficult time so unexpected support coming in over there for you so uh, those are the energies for that week so i'm going to draw some cards from the um deviant moon tarot bottom of the deck you've got the judgment card over there and the ace of wands so you are being asked to uh you know um change direction really with this judgment card this is about moving off in something uh in a new um avenue taking a second chance on something uh something else you know something coming around from the past as well with that judgment card but being asked to leave something behind and make a brand new start with that Ace of Wands, uh, start a new project, start a new job, or even move uh, to a new place to start off afresh. So you've been asked, you've been called upon to do that. And you've got a lot of skills and you've got a lot of talents and you're being called to use these skills and these talents at this particular time in order for you to change your life path. So this is a big decision, a big change that is coming through for you. You have been pretty bored recently. You've got that four of cups over there. You can see this person looks a bit uh, bored. But also there's the sense that you have lost something as well. So something did not quite work out the way you wanted it to. You had envisioned, um, you know, doing something and it didn't turn out. It didn't pan out the way you wanted to. You're feeling very lonely, very isolated, very unsupported. And you're trying to get away. You've got this um, ship over there. Maybe you are thinking of actually traveling overseas to start off afresh we've got that new moon over there plus that ship is showing that you want to go and start off something brand new somewhere else and the universe is actually directing you towards that to make a brand new start somewhere else you've got the three of rods over here so this is about planning and things coming into fruition so whatever you have been putting your effort into is going to start paying off for you you've got these rods blossoming over there and you pondering over it so you're thinking about it quite carefully you're putting a lot of effort a lot of mental energy into this particular situation there 
Now in the past you've got the chariot, so you may have moved home, you may have traveled, uh, you may have already relocated or you might be even having some problems going on within your home life or your family uh, life at this moment. You are trying to overcome them as well. It seems like there may have been some issues uh, with regards to the family. You've got that ten of coins over there. This usually talk about, it talks about financial issues or you know you could have even gone through a divorce. Uh, with this, that's you've got the chariot as well as that ten of uh, coins. Ten of coins, the ending of any kind of financial dependence on somebody else. Um, you know, you're, you're planning your next move over there with that uh, chessboard going on over there, and the chariot is maybe that you're moving on. So you may be buying a new home or moving on to somewhere else. Uh, this is an end of a cycle, so it looks like this was, uh, you know, what was in store for you. Um, so this is something karmic that you are being forced to make the decision to move to do something uh, brand new start something somewhere else and you've got the death card on, on uh, crowning this read or on your mind so it seems like there's big changes big transformations and these were sudden changes you've had to make a decision very quickly you can see this uh, this kind of a devil uh, stomping out the other one. So you've had to cut people out very, very quickly and you've had to move out of the situation. You can see he's at the fork uh, crossroads um, there. So you are at this p a point where you are trying to make that decision about getting rid of things that are not serving you or situations that are not serving you and moving on. So a big change coming over there. Um, it looks like you know, you've had to even cut ties financially with somebody and move on. You're very, very heartbroken about whatever's happened over here. So you still haven't recovered and you're still crying quite a bit over there. Uh, you know, you've got a vision or you, you want to make a brand new start. There's a new moon going, um, you know, sorry, there's the end of the old moon over there. So something ending uh, and this has caused heartbreak and you are trying to make plans for the future. You, are, you do have some kind of vision. Uh, but you're still looking at the past and crying over it and it's time for you to now move on from it. You could have been involved in some kind of legal issue over there with that... Uh, three of swords so there could have been some kind of legal problem uh, this could also have been a problem with um, you know um, a third party situation or with people around you causing a lot of backstabbing there now going into the future you've got that seven of cups so you have to make plans you can see this man's drawing up something over there so you do have to have a plan in place <coughs> if you decide you want to do something you've got to pick something and stick to it there's been a lot of disappointments things are not working out the way you wanted to but you have to come up with a strategy and a plan on how to actually do things you can see even here with this ten of coins coming up with a new plan a new strategy so if one door closes you need to come up with a plan on how to open the next door you've got the seven of coins and this is also about having a lot of options financially so you are trying to get the money in. You see this man's trying to shake the tree. He's almost trying, he's trying to get blood out of this tree. So it's it seems like you know you are very, very financially skint at this particular moment. You really are in a state of confusion. Confusion about your money, confusion about what you want to do or where you want to live, even with this uh, um, Seven of Cups. This is like having a lot of options, but where you want to settle down, where you want to put your roots down, you really don't know. So you know, things are up in the air over here. So financially, maybe you don't even have a job at the moment. You're looking for a new job. You're trying to go and explore every single avenue, and you're looking for a new home, it seems. So so going through a very, very difficult situation and whatever's going on over there with you, you're very, very upset, very, very heartbroken as well. But you've got that three of uh, rods over there. So things will improve. The, this rods, these rods are blooming and it seems like you may need to speak to people around you and they will give you that help. So on your mind, you've got the moon, and this is about being depressed, being very fearful, being upset about things, not really knowing what is going on. Uh, you know, your mind is in a, a, a little bit of uh, chaos at the moment there. Now, going into the future, you've got the world card, um, the four of coins, and the five of cups there. So the world card is about ending and completion of cycles, uh, things coming full circle, uh, you know, needing for you to let go. You you know, review the past, take your lessons, and you need to move on. So this is definitely a karmic cycle. It is coming to an end. You needed to do this in order for you to move forward. You've got that four of uh, coins over here, so there is a need for you to watch that money, watch that finances, and hang on to it as, as closely as possible. You do have people that are demanding, uh, you know, bills need to be paid. Um, it looks like there might be somebody that is going to give you some kind of assistance financially, uh, but you are you do need to watch uh, the, that coin pretty carefully over here. 
and you are feeling very very depressed very upset over here you can see this man's blocking his ears here so uh you know maybe people are having a go at you you can see that person is telling this man off uh you know maybe uh, people are accusing you um maybe they are telling you this is all your fault the situation but you need to maybe block them off uh, you know, and focus on the future, uh, because these people, you know, it, it, they're saying a lot of things, but they're not giving you solutions to your problems. So uh, these are people that you don't want in your uh, arena there. You don't want to be uh, told that this is all your fault, because, you know, uh, things in life are, are not things that we can always control. And, uh, you know, these things happen, they happen for a reason, and, but to have somebody uh, at your case telling you that this is all your fault is just not going to be uh, worth your energy. So you need to cut this person out, turn your back to them and, uh, you know, make make sure that you are uh, following your own instincts. Don't listen to them because they're not uh, raising you up. They're bringing you down. They're pointing fingers at you. So you need to actually let them go. Uh, turn your back on them and go forward. So this is a very difficult situation. Everything is really up in the air at the moment. Uh, you're trying to make a decision over there. But, you know, with this card being the first card, the Three of Rods, it looks like things will start improving, even though, you know, you are in so much of confusion about where you want to live, about where you're going to get, you know, where, where your next job is coming from. And people are pointing fingers at you. Um, you know, things, it, it looks like things, you know, will improve. Now you've got the temperance card over here and this is the card of balance and this is about using all your skills so uh, by merging various viewpoints you can generate uh, an extraordinary new idea compromise with others and collaborate to discover best solution so with this three of rods three of rods is about people around you and it looks like they're going to come up with some solution for your problems you might need to consider you can see this man's looking at these rods with a lot of consideration and this temperance card is saying listen to everybody's opinions and then pick the best one and go for it so listen to whatever advice is coming to you and you might find a way out of the solution that way you've got the world card appearing here again so this says congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you need to sort out you made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons uh that life has offered you with grace and courage. So this is a karmic ending of that particular cycle. You've got the world card appearing twice over there. Um, so, you know, this is about, this is now finished. I think the worst is over here. This is about, you know, just getting to things, uh, getting closure to a situation and moving on. Um, and, you know, taking, taking control back of that situation. You've got the four of spring over here. So it's time to kick back and relax and celebrate all you have. Uh, joy arises from success in your career, the completion of a project, or a happy home life. Now, the Four of Rods is about celebration, so it's about a home stability. It's about uh, you know a project coming in, even working with people. So <clears throat> it looks like eventually you know you will be able to um, uh, find yourself some, some sort of stability if it's a home that you're looking for. That is coming in with that Four of Spring, and there is some cause for celebration. So somebody people around you are going to bring the solution into you so listen out for advice or accept any kind of offers that come in for you there is going to be help that comes in that allows you you can see this otter uh, these otters together so somebody is going to come and help you uh, get through the situation there will be a rescue uh, that comes in for you that allows you to get stability so although you're going through a very very uh, upsetting period at this particular moment it needed to happen because you need to change direction in some sort of way and uh, it looks like you know the universe will send you the help and advice you need to get through the situation so i hope this reading has resonated please don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye